back to Deloney V8 Motorsports and good morning on this beautiful Sunday morning. It's not raining. There's even a little bit of sun out there. Wanted to do a season recap and talk a little bit about how the season went and also last night's activities. Um, big trophy here and a plaque over here. Um, got some, some accolades last night for the season. Um, and so also wanted a chance to actually read the speech that I wrote. It was uh, um, messed up a few different ways last night. And so through the power of YouTube, I get a second chance here. So bear with me, it's short. I'll just read it. Uh, first of all, I wanna thank my wife, Kathy, for her support. This, this sport takes a lot of time and money. Uh, the time is usually spent um, on the sunny summer days um, in here in Oregon. And so they're precious. Uh, thanks, honey, for letting me live my dreams. Uh, I want to also thank Ron Tiki Man Hughley for his help at the track. When he can be there, he always helps out and also gives his special dose of color commentary and video skills. Um, I'd throw in there too, you know, I, you don't have to ask Ron to help. He jumps in. He's been around the sport a long time and definitely appreciate uh, his help. Usually when I'm down there, my buddies are racing, my other buddies, and so they're busy. Um, Ron once in a while is able to come out and it seems like things go a little smoother uh, whenever he's there. So thanks, man. Um, I've been coming to Woodburn Drag Strip since my older brother, Mike Loney, brought me out there in 1972 to watch Kenny Goodell. Um, at the time, my mom worked for Jack Livingston Dodge and I think Kenny was sponsored by them. And so he had come through there and... I think uh, we were fairly new to the area at that time and uh, my older brother Mike latched on and he was kind of a car nut too, still is, and uh, brought me out there. So thanks, Mike. Um, also wanted to say thanks, and this was shared a lot last night as well, but thanks to the Livingston and, and Severance families for running that place, for having that place and dealing with, dealing with uh, running a drag strip. I know it's not easy, uh, but it sure is nice to have that place here and, and uh, a lot of us really enjoy it. I uh, want to say thanks to the fellow shifters racers and just thanks for being so damn fun to race with. Uh, watched this class over the years, as I've mentioned, and it always looked like a great time. Didn't really know how, uh, you know, what the people were like. The people looked like they were having fun, uh, but they really are great folks, very welcoming group. So if you're thinking about racing the shifter class, do it. It's, it's awesome. Um, wanted to also thank uh, Lee Smith for building that yellow car behind me. Um, he really did a nice job. The car was consistent and uh, reliable all year. Uh, I messed around with it and adjusted things here and there, but solid car, didn't have any breakage, um, uh, which was new for me, and so that was great. Um, also had to say thanks to all my buddies for the support. Uh, George Burns, Brett Davis, Scott Davis, Scott Fink, uh, Kirk and Tammy Hall, Hall Pass Racing, um, we got a, a nice group of folks that we hang out with and we camp out with when we go out there for the, for the big weekends. And of course, we have a lot of fun with these folks. So thanks, everybody. And then, uh, of course, I threw in the like and subscribe stuff at the end. But anyway, so yeah, so last night's banquet uh, was the annual Woodburn banquet. I, as much as I've been going out to that track and worked on some crews and raced my own cars here and there. I'd never, ever been to one of the banquets. And so it was fun to check that out and to get the awards and everything. Um, I had a nice time. I ended up sitting at the table uh, with Berndt. Um, he was, uh, took second place in my class and I think second place in the other shifters class. And he was the champion uh, for a third class. So he does a lot of racing out there. He does double duty plus. Um, and I apologize. I have his car on video a couple times and I think, uh, actually I think Ron might've started it. Um, but, uh, we call it a Scirocco. It is not a Scirocco. It is a Corrado. And a very cool car. I was able to get some specs from him last night. That thing's light. Um, obviously it's fast. Um, he shifts with a clutch and so, Hard to be consistent, and yet he is way up there in the points and also you know, winning championships. So um, good to sit down with him and, and chat finally. Um, great to see the other folks in the shifter class. Uh, the real champion, Dick Arnold. Was on fire. This is his third championship. Your stick shift champion, Dick Arnold. Yeah. 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 
the power. Uh, was crowned last night. He won the stick shift class. I heard that was his third championship. And so um, I had no idea how old he is. I'm not going to say it, but he's older than me. And uh, he's out there running really hard in that Camaro. And obviously he's doing well. He's winning. So uh, congrats, Dick. He is also the president of the shifter uh, club. So um, we like to give him a hard time about that. Anyway, um, there was in the super shifter class, there was roughly seven or eight people uh, racing for points. Um, there was more than that, but you can tell if you look at the points, a lot of folks didn't come to a lot of races. Um, but uh, just again, want to say thanks to all the fellow racers. Um, obviously, I had a lot of luck this year. Um, you know, there's other people that probably deserve this trophy more than me. People like JP, uh, Bruce, uh, Papano, he he had some, some uh, mechanical failures this year, but um, you know, there's guys out there that are, that are just better than me at it. And uh, it was my, I guess, lucky year. So um, the car did really good this season. It picked up little by little each race. Um, I've mentioned this on other videos, but I, I kept loosening the clutch a little bit all season in between races. Um, I bought some new shocks for it and slapped those on. I think that helped a little bit. Um, it's still a little bit inconsistent, but it's, it's quick. I'm, I'm really satisfied with, with the performance of the car, more than satisfied. Um, I really would have been okay with anything in the 990s. And um, this year it ran, a, last, of, last race, it ran a 965 at 138. Um, it's done a 139, 60 foot, which is pretty good. It's a 3,650 pound car with me in it. Um, it ran, on that pass, it ran a 612 at 112 in the eighth. So the car runs really good and I'm super happy with it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted a chance to say thanks again and properly deliver the speech. I'll post this up. And um, I did also get a most improved award. I met this uh, racer a few years back. Uh, racer had been going to the track for many years. And um, uh, first thing that kind of struck me was that he looked in the car, he saw it had my car, the green car, saw it had a Lenco, thought that was pretty cool. Told me he always wanted to have a car with levers. So your 2023 Woodburn Drive Strip, most improved driver in the specialty series goes to my buddy, Dave Holmes. I've been going down there since 1972, so eventually improved. Anyway, uh, there were a couple of people. So I gotta say thanks to my buddies, Brett Davis, Scott Davis, George Burns. Uh, they're part of the crew. We like the wheelie bar a lot. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, and I forgot the most important part. Like and subscribe. Dave only V8 Motorsports YouTube channel. I'm not really sure uh, what all what what all is behind that as far as the, the mechanism for winning that award, but I appreciate it. Um, I have never really run a whole season for points. Uh, the car, other cars that I've had were generally not very consistent cars. The last car I had was really inconsistent. Um, and so this is the first time I've really gone after racing for points in a class. Um, I missed a race uh, last season and still, like I say, lucky enough to, uh, end up out front at the very end. So, um, but I go out there for the fun of it. I'm really not that competitive. Uh, I really love the sport and I enjoy filming and watching and obviously having beers and hanging out um, as much as I do driving the car. Um, it is a fun car to drive though, I must say. So uh, one last thank you. I didn't mention this in the speech. A lot of other folks did and I thought it was good. I uh, wanted to say thanks to the track personnel um, you know, if you can imagine having a job where you have to work every weekend when the weather is nice around here, um, you know, these folks, you know, I'm assuming they get days off during the week. And I think all of these folks probably love the sport, love the track, maybe love the track owners. And, um, they do a really great job. I don't have all their names. I'll, I'll rattle off a few that I do know. Uh, Tom works the water box. There's nobody better than him at work in the water box. He's awesome. Um, all day, every day, on the weekend, out in the sun, working the water box. So thanks, Tom. Uh, Letty works the tower. Uh, she run th runs things up there. Um, Jack works the starting line most of the time. I think Chuck also works the starting line and the fuel shed and other things. 
Uh, Steve Canton is kind of the groundskeeper around there. Uh, Woodburn has a really nice setting. Uh, the pits, a lot of the pits are grass. Steve keeps that, that clean. Um, and uh, I think Re Gwen was recognized last night as well, but a close friend, dear friend, um, uh, Gwen works the tower as well. Uh, they gave her a hard time for being pretty finicky. Um, I can tell you, if you don't know this, uh, Gwen worked for NHRA for a while. And I have seen her work heritage events, and I have seen her boss Don Garlitz around and tell him where to put his car and where to go. And uh, she's serious, and uh, she knows how she wants things done, and you better, you better follow in line. <laughs> so cheers, Gwen. Uh, and then Stephanie, one of our favorites. Stephanie uh, works in the wheelie bar, and so pretty much see her most sunny afternoons uh, serving up ice-cold beers. And so... Cheers to those folks. I hope you guys have a nice, uh, warm winter, and um, we'll see you out there next season. But thanks for all you do. Cheers. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Super shifter clap. <laughs> Though he missed a race, he still earned 270 points, 10 round wins, one runner-up finish, and two event wins. Your super shifter champion, David Loney. Good. Good. say thanks to my wife for all of her support you guys know this is an expensive sport and uh get to live your dreams out of woodburn so thanks honey uh i wanted to thank ron tiki man ron helped me out a lot this year he kept the tires right helped me out in the lanes when uh when i was all by myself um wanted to mention i've been going to woodburn drag strip since 1972. my brother mike brought me there in the second grade so big fan of that place want to thank the livingston and severance family for giving us a place to race Thank you very much for that. Also, I got to say thanks to Lee Smith. He built that car that I raced, and that was a pretty good car this year. So that's it. Thank you. Finishers tied for points with two round wins that ultimately made the difference between first and second place. With 270 points, eight round wins, one runner up finish, and one event win in second place at Baron Arm. Yeah.